Good evening, this is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital with a review of the weekend trading reports for April 5th, 2015. Our markets in bullish normal conditions on an annual basis using weekly RSI 14. We're in the middle of neutral with a score of 55 out of 100. Slightly uh, below average on the 10-day NDX, putting us at 33 out of 100 in the neutral territory, but low using 10-day NDX. Looking at the market mosaic, uh, we're close to the 200-day moving average, red bullish conditions at 3.42%. The slope of the 50 is yellow neutral. The market is untrending with an ADX 14 rating of 15. Uh, the risk index is the 30-period moving average of the VIX divided by the 10-period. The threshold of 1.0 is the boundary between risk on and risk off. We just dipped into risk off conditions with a score of 0.99. We take that score, compare it to the last 5,000 trading days, find the average and standard deviation, and we come up with the risk Z score, which is minus 0.16 right now. You can see on a 90-day histogram of that indicator, we are hovering right near the zero line, but just a shade underneath. Uh, so the market is very vulnerable to sharp moves in either direction at this point. Blended month rebalancing. Uh, we rebalanced last week into these holdings in these three ETF portfolios and then based on the uh, close of, uh, on Thursday this uh, these are the current leaders uh, in these various portfolios in ETF2 the theoretical exposure is at 90 percent the model portfolio will also be at 90 percent after we add a position in HEDJ our Kansas City workshop is still on for 5 through 12 June we had one slot open up uh, for resident attendance, if you're interested, please give me uh, an email at longke at yahoo.com and we'll get, we'll get you set up and squared away. Just a quick look at the uh, ETF 13 and 32 portfolios using that blended month rebalancing look back. Also the ETF Max, showing still strength in uh, uh, biotech and the solar in China. And the sector the uh, S&P 500 with the sector spider that these leading uh, candidates are members of, uh, Hospira and Kraft near the top. Uh, the market health check, market hovering right at the bottom of the river here, but showed some resilience after this double bottom. Uh, we have an upper uh, price targets here, the next price target on the upside, 208.5 at the Bollinger Band mean, and then at the top of the floodplain around 212. You have to see it close above this purple line in order to um, uh, get to an all-time new high. <clears throat> we are in the yellow zone right now, so I have a bias of going in the direction of the daily market move intraday. Uh, I am uh, unbiased in terms of uh, expectations on direction. You'll notice that the slope of the 30-period regression line has uh, come down now to about minus 0.12 and starting to roll up. Uh, that could be a sign of, uh, of healing, as you see uh, three lower, uh, three higher lows here uh, in place. Uh, well postured for a swing move to the upside here with the market very near over uh, sold conditions. The jaws of PPO have closed and it is basically non-directional right now. So we have market uh, at a hesitation point here, ready to go in either direction sharply. These horizontal red lines uh, would show us what our price targets are on the downside should support here at the edge of the river fail. The ETF2 regional report at 90% invested and 10% cash since 9 out of the 10 indexes are on buy signals. You see uh, inside the U.S. Uh, sector spiders, the only ones that are above average right now are these long-term leaders of consumer staples, healthcare, and consumer discretionary. Market health check, mixed bag here inside the U.S. with uh, growth winning in the small and mid cap categories. The large cap Dow and S&P suffering below average, everything else uh, slightly above average. Some strength in Japan, Hong Kong, India, Philippines, Germany, and Netherlands. Uh, above average in silver, treasuries, U.S. real estate, and private equity in all of Europe, uh, but still lagging in Canada and Brazil and Latin America. But uh, interestingly, divergence here with emerging markets above average. The ETF2 uh, top 30 report, we like to see things that are green and white, so we'd be taking a close look here at China. 
more China, uh, Russia on a rebound in energy, uh, Philippines, and then you can see a, a whole stack of uh, green and white here as uh, new leadership starting to emerge. And inside the Dow, the clear winners here, uh, United Health, Boeing, Disney, Home Depot. And uh, Visa starting to lag, being white and green. Uh, quite a lot uh, suffering here in the red as the U.S. large caps uh, continuing to show some weakness. Quick look at the daily reports. We only have a couple uh, pattern trades here in uh, the queues for channeling. Uh, DuPont and Walmart, overreaction and uh, McDonald's, but it, an awful lot of uh, good setups here on the auto framers, so looking for intraday moves uh, on Monday. Uh, and uh, an awful lot of good setups here in the Dow based on the auto framer, as you can see. And uh, Microsoft, especially interesting, with a 5 on the RSI 2, and McDonald's with a 10 on the, on the RSI 2, and also 2.4. Uh, and 3.6 to 1 respectively in the auto framer. Uh, less to choose from here in the ETFs, but still a good number of candidates testing out well in the auto framer, especially the NASDAQ, to draw your attention. Uh, key price levels for um, the auto framer and the large caps and ETFs. And looking at regression line fractal framework, got some pretty good. Um, Value plays here looking at Alcoa and Microsoft, which is 9.5 ATRs below its long term fair value, which we, tra we take as the RL270. Uh, as far as relative strength leaders, Pfizer, Boeing, McDonald's, Disney, and United Health, uh, each slightly above its uh, 270 period regression line. And that's everything I want to cover uh, from the weekend report. Uh, there's quite a lot of Shorter term opportunities as the market is compressed here, but remember it's still kind of sideways choppy, looking for one day moves. These are intraday opportunities that we want to seize and uh, and make bank on. And uh, there's still, uh, I have some reluctance in uh, holding the positions overnight, so I'm looking to make bank uh, intraday and then use uh, successful trades intraday to fund overnight holdings and not the other way around. So my default is shorter term uh, taking advantage of this uh, volatile chop. Um, that's everything from the weekend reports I want to talk about. This is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital. Keep your wrist measured and your powder dry. On Wisconsin.